Hi guys, I hope you're all really well. Welcome back to my little channel. I'm so sorry for the delay between um, this video and my last one. I unfortunately was really grossly ill. I caught that horrible cold going around and I was just a snivelly, snotty mess. It was disgusting and I just couldn't force that onto any of you. So I took a little break, recovered and I'm all good and everything will be back to normal from now onwards. Touch wood that I don't get ill again. So I've got something a little different for you today. Um, it's something that I have haven't actually ever done before on here. Um, basically, I thought I would share with you my coat collection. Now, just to give you a little heads up, I am absolutely besotted with coats. They're kind of my thing. I have a lot of them. My housemate Lucy and my boyfriend will tell you that I have too many of them. I've built up a little collection over the years. I really believe a coat fully transforms a look and update your entire outfit. I tend to invest in jackets and outerwear rather than the other bits like bags, shoes, <laughs> like I'm saying this aloud and I know I'm lying to myself because next week I'll give you a video where I'm like oh yeah no I really think it's important to invest in shoes I don't know well I keep telling myself at least that I think coats are a good investment so I thought I would talk you through the coats I have here with me in London I do actually have a rail full of coats back at home at my parents house that is kind of more specialist coats but the rest are all here slightly out of shot because it did look like I was in my own jumble sale when they were in shop so I really hope you enjoy this make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do subscribe and yeah you'll see me very soon so this is the first one on the pile. This is one of the most expensive coats I've ever bought. I can already tell I'm gonna have like five buzzwords in this. It will be like investment, staple. Yeah, this is an investment and a staple. This is an amazing tan suede longline coat from Topshop. It was a little bit more because it was actually made in London and it's quite rare but when you can find out who's making your clothes, where they're coming from, the conditions that the people making the clothes are in is really good to know. So I do love this. I think this is such a classic style. It has a really retro yet modern feel to it and I just absolutely love it. There are a few things like this one that I've already filmed videos on so I'll put a link to those below so you can kind of see how I've worn it and how I've styled it into my daily wardrobe there. And I'm really excited to wear it again. I have to obviously, with it being suede, check the weather forecast before I head out in it. So the next jacket I have is this light blue style. It's just your classic leather jacket style. I've got a few more in there and I just love the baby blue shade that this one's made in. This is from Gester's and I just think it's super flattering. It's a really fresh fun shade. It works really nicely and effortlessly within your summer wardrobe and kind of transitioning into later on in the year. And I like how it's got extra buttons, extra zips and a really nice chunky belted waist which just adds a bit more character to the item. This jacket I absolutely adore but I picked it up in a charity shop and I don't actually know where it's from. I always get so many compliments on it and people are always like where's that from? I absolutely love it and I'm just like honestly I don't know. It has no tags or brands branding in it whatsoever. I feel like it could be either very cheap or it could have been an absolute steal and it's a very expensive piece because all the zip detailing on it is very heavy so kind of lends itself to more of a expensive item. I'm still undecided whether this is actually leather or not. I've had it for a couple of years now and it's worn so well I really can't recommend checking out a charity shop more. Like the light blue one I just think adding a pop of colour to an outfit and especially in the context of a leather jacket which is usually restricted to like darker shades especially black black specifically which you will see. I have a couple of those unsurprisingly. This is a favourite of mine. So this coat here um, I actually picked it up naughtily to film a video with and then I was going to return it. Unfortunately I lost the receipt and Tyler had bought it on his card so I ended up keeping it and it worked out pretty well because I've worn it so so much. It was just £40 from F&F &F at Tesco's which I think is an absolute bargain. I think a leopard print jacket is just a timeless classic. You can kind of toughen it up or or add it to a more dressed up look. Um, I particularly like how this is more of a carpet material. It really feels almost like Mary Poppins's handbag. It's more of an embroidered leopard print than a printed leopard print. Again, it's nice to have something different and the length of this I think is super flattering. Love this. So we're now on to denim. Both of these, I'll show you these at the same time. Both of these jackets are actually from Levi's. Um, I'll show you this one first. This one I was very kindly gifted by Levi's and it is absolutely 
amazing. It is one of their unisex jackets. Um, it's their reclaimed vintage collection and it's just a classic light wash style with really beautiful patch detailing on the collar, the sleeves and at the hem of the jacket. It kind of lends itself to that Navajo vibe. Every time I look at it, it always reminds me of kind of that California cool, um, really laid back, super chilled out California style that I just so love and Obviously, as you know from my videos and all of my social media, I'm completely obsessed with California. And so anything that brings that nostalgia, I just love. So this is a firm favorite of mine. Continuing <laughs> along the California vibe, I was actually lucky enough to go along to Levi's customizing bar in their Regent Street store when it launched and managed to get a jacket customized for myself. So it's just kind of your basic medium wash slightly shorter than the other jacket and I got my initials just put onto the front and on the back continuing with my obsession with all things LA I had City of Angels embroidered. Now this I actually saw on Instagram. One of the designers at H&M, she's called Kelly Harrington and I'm completely besotted with her denim collection and her just general aesthetic on Instagram. Um, I'll put a link to her Instagram below and she actually was wearing a jacket that was genuinely vintage that had this on the back at the top of, it was either Runyon Canyon or it was on the Hollywood Hills hike. Got a video showing you my trip around Runyon Canyon and the Hollywood Hills. I'll, also linked below but I saw a picture of her at the top of the hill with LA below her and I was just like oh, you know what I really really want one of those and when I had the opportunity to actually make and get one of them, I seized it with both hands and I'm absolutely determined now to get back to LA and get my shot with this that is top of my list for next year. On to leather jackets and I have two here these are so old so I'll pop links to similar styles below because these two definitely aren't available and um, this was actually the first kind of leather-esque jacket that I purchased I think I was at school still this is just a cropped faux leather jacket from Topshop it's just really basic it doesn't actually have a collar which I quite like it was really handy for nights out because it wasn't too bulky yeah it's very very love worn really reminds me of one too many at night out and then the second I've got actually had a detachable faux fur collar. Do you remember when that was a really popular thing? Just me. Um, this was one of those but I actually picked this one up from River Island incidentally. Um, it's got a bit of a textured leather detailing along the front which I thought was quite nice as it adds something a little extra. I haven't really worn this much lately um, so it's probably better if I take this actually back home when I go home next or I will try and wear this a little bit more often. Despite not wearing it much lately it's definitely not something I'm going to be throwing out anytime soon because I know the second I throw it out I will need it and want to wear it that day or something silly. Ah, oh, so this is actually good timing. Alexa Chung's second collection, which is her winter archive, drops in store. He took all of my willpower not to buy the amazing vinyl coat from her new collection but I kind of didn't really have any reason to justify buying it because I don't really think it will work into my wardrobe as easily as this one from her first collection which has just worked so well like I wear it so 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 much at least once a week at the moment. It's this amazing army green mac that is lined in the most beautiful navy red and white check detailing so it's really sweet when you roll up the sleeves and um, it's just got these black buttons all along the front and a lovely flattering waist sash. I absolutely love this. Um, this, I don't know why this is here in London. This is a very like festival jacket. It's kind of like nod to being a mod. This is just from Mango. This is again a nice army green style. It's a bit of a love worn washed out kind of style which looks quite cute with a Breton and black jeans and a pair of like Converse or Vans. Like it's a really easy casual piece to throw on. Um, this one was quite dusty by the looks of it and it's really set my nose off. It all Almost, almost at the bottom of my pile. I don't know, I'm not even surprised that there's this many. Um, so this one here, this is a brand new option that I haven't worn yet, still got the tags in. This I actually picked up in a ASOS sample sale. It's this incredible, super, super long line mat, which I love. Again, it's such a classic piece to have in your wardrobe. You can mix it in and wear it with anything and everything, which I think is so important when looking for outerwear. Like you don't want to go too bold or too plain and then struggle to fit it in and make it work with the pieces you already own. So this I think will kind of just work seamlessly into my everyday wardrobe. Oh, now this little number, for so long 
I was never really sure about Parker's as a coat and I didn't really see how it would work again into my wardrobe. However, I popped into M&S and I saw this absolutely amazing ink coloured Parker and I absolutely fell in love. It is so durable, so cosy and thick and warm. I absolutely love it. I love the faux fur detailing on the hood. I love how it's lined with like a faux shearling. It comes with this particular stain to it so it's completely waterproof there's no way that you're going to get caught out on a cold wet winter's day when you're wearing this amazing jacket one of the best things i've bought this year hands down so obviously if you watch my h&m video you will know that i bloody love this jacket this was rather um, meant to be my main winter jacket buy but obviously the parka happened and the coat that's coming up this is my giant oversized camel style absolutely obsessed with this it's just incredible it's so cozy I have a couple of sleeveless jackets this one is just from mango it's just again a camel style with darker buttons I wore this so much a couple of seasons ago and I just think it's really nice for that transitional time at the moment where some days it's not actually that chilly and you can just go out with like a chunkier jumper and a sleeveless jacket rather than committing to a coat it, um I've got another one this is also from mango this is a slightly longer more kind of tailored black jacket that's a bit more draped at the front with um um, larger pockets yeah again great for throwing on and layering up over pieces you already have in your wardrobe this is my lovely little number from my Primark trip a couple of months back this again I still can't get over it people constantly ask me each time I wear it where it's from and cannot believe it's from Primark I think it was something silly like 25 or 28 pounds and I just think for a coat like this it looks so much more expensive than it actually is I just think it's such a classic I love the monochrome I love the check and I think the button detailing just kind of adds that luxurious element to it this is something I got from very.co.uk last year and um, when it was all about shearling this is a very kind of coat inspired jacket fully lined in faux shearling and just buttoned up with um, tabs on the bottom and the sleeves and again obviously look at the weather forecast before you wear this piece because you just don't want to get caught out and then the final two coats I have here gosh both are from Topshop and the first one is this incredible cobalt blue style it is again oversized and again a bit more longer lined I love it I think it just looks so great when worn with top to toe black adding a bit of color in with a faux fur scarf I'll forever love this coat I have to say when I got it out of its dust bag this year it did look a bit more love worn than I'd have liked it to so I'm just going to have to be a bit cautious with how many times I wear it this year and then my final coat for you guys this is a grey oversized I feel like every other coat I show you is oversized um, option it is another one of their made in London collections from last season and one of the main things I really loved about this coat was the the fact that the sleeves kind of lean down to this jumper material so when you're wearing it you never get a cold draft up your arms which last December and January this I have to tell you was a total godsend because it was so cold so I really hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my coats gosh it was quite a mission showing you and this kind of dust is flying everywhere now which is a bit much obviously I know I have a coat problem I absolutely love a good coat let me know which out of my coats is your favorite and I will see you very soon bye guys